Hi everyone! Welcome to this episode of Calligraphy with Kayla. Um, on this episode, I will be showing you how to paint a calligraphy style kitty cat. So the materials you will need for this class are very minimal. Um, I'll go over the materials, then I'll go over how we're going to paint a little kitty cat together. So first things first, um, I'm just going to be using one color this time. You can use as many colors as you like or as few. I like the classic black uh, because I'm going to try and be mimicking the ink um, brush strokes that I see and have grown to love in the Japanese calligraphy art that inspired me to start doing these classes. So I've got my basic black right here, um, which is the color I will be using today. I've got my little paint palette because I'm actually going to be watering down my black just a little bit so it kind of mimics ink a little bit better. It is just a little bit thick uh, right now, but will flow much easier if you give it a little flow. Um, then we've got our brush. So we got, it's a small round tipped brush. Um, I like the round brushes. They work the best for this. You don't have to use one this small if you don't want to. I like to work really tiny, so I always use my little brush. And then I will be using a piece of watercolor paper. Uh, you don't have to use watercolor paper if you want to paint directly on a canvas on a regular sheet of paper. Whatever suits your fancy. I like watercolor paper. I think it's pretty. You can frame it afterwards if you like. Give it as a gift. You know, everyone likes receiving gifts during this quarantine time. So, <laughs> um, And then I just have a little off to the side. I've got my little water cup so that I can keep dipping and cleaning my brushes I need to. So first things first, I'm going to get a little bit of the paint onto my palette and then I'm going to water that down. And I'm just taking the brush and adding the water right into the little well here. You don't actually have to water it down if you don't want to, but for the sake of this style, it definitely helps. So I've got a little bit wet right here. Oh yes, that's lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my little brush and I'm rolling it in the paint so that it's coating all the sides. It's covering all the bristles all the way around. Um, yeah, you want to get it nice and covered with paint. So, we'll start painting our little kitty cat, and then as a little finishing touch, we'll finish it off with the kanji, or character, for cat, um, which I'll go into in a little bit. So, to start our little kitty cat, he's going to be taking a little nap. So, we're going to draw his paws first. So, it's going to be at the very bottom. I guess the shape of him, he'll end up being a little ball little curled up kitty cat. So you're going to be at the very bottom. We'll do two dots with our brush. And you can elongate them a little bit, make them a little rounder. These are going to be his two little front paws. Then, see just two little dots right there. Um, not very hard. <laughs> so next, we're going to draw the shape of his head. Um, and he's going to be, his face is going to be curled around his little feet. So I'll start from this side and just draw a little circle and again from the other side. There we go. And then we'll give him little ears. So you'll make a little triangles on the top corner either side of his little head and you can fill those in too. All right, now we're going to kind of color in the top of his head. So you can start from the middle peak and kind of make a little S shape, if that makes sense. And bring it down to the other side as well. Maybe it looks a little more like a teardrop than an S. And you can 
fill that in with your brush. Notice I haven't actually re-dipped my brush yet. Um, the paint is nice and wet. It is flowing. My tiny little brush held quite a little bit of paint in it. Now I am going to re-dip it, but <laughs> after saying that, of course. Um, so, now you've got a little head. Doesn't look like much. I promise it will. Next, we're going to do, just to make it look like a little head, we're going to give him a little nose. So his nose is tucked in right between his paws. So I'm just going to do a little line straight down. I guess I'm going to make a T shape, uh, just to give a little little nose. So line down right in between his paws, and then just across the top. That'll be his tiny little kitty nose. And then, since he's asleep, we'll draw his closed eyes, and they're just going to be tucked right above his paws. So you're just going to do two little um, crescent shapes, if you will, above his paws. I'm just going to wet my brush and kind of flatten out the tip just a little bit to give myself a sharper edge. And I'll give it a little swipe. And it's best if you start from the inside and swipe out, um, because the pressure you apply and then swipe out, it'll be thicker when you push down and a little skinnier. That way you get a nice little shape. Do it to the other side too. And now we've got our tiny little kitty head. Now I'm going to reload my brush again. Get it nice and covered in paint. Well, not covered, but get the tip nice and full of paint. Because this is where the one stroke calligraphy technique comes in. Uh, the style that I became obsessed with is all about minimalism. Um, so this is where we draw his body. And a lot of people, especially me, find this intimidating, but just go for it. I promise um, it'll look amazing. So we're going to start from the bottom here. And the idea is we're going to swoop all the way around and meet at the top of his head, and this will create the shape for his body. So, let's make sure I got enough paint on here. We're gonna start from the bottom up, <laughs> and then you're gonna push nice and hard. So you want it thickest at the bottom, and you wanna swoop it to the top. So you'll push in nice and deep, and just bring it around. See? <laughs> and that's okay that you ran out of paint. The idea is you just want that nice, quick, clean shape. So now I'm going to take the rest of the paint that's in my brush, make that a little thicker. We can fill in this line that we created. Now this is a nice big fat sleeping cat because I mean, a fat cat is a happy cat, let's be honest. All of my kitties end up nice and plump and fluffy. Yeah. And we'll make this nice big bottom part nice and fat, because that's going to be his little tail wrapped up around him. You can give him his last little foot down here if you like, another little boop. And then I'm going to flatten my brush and get it nice and wet and then I'm going to brush it on the sides to kind of flatten it. And we're going to give him some whiskers. So, we're going to start in here and just quickly, gently, lightly flick it out. And then start from the inside and just flick it out. <laughs> now this is a really fat kitty. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we got our nice fat sleepy kitty kind of sleeping in the corner here, I'm gonna just kind of finish off this piece um, and show you all how to write the kanji for cat, which is the Japanese character for cat. So, um, yeah, it's all about the brush strokes. <laughs> so we're gonna start, I'm gonna put the character in this top corner just to kind of hopefully balance out this 
tiny little picture that we're working on today. Uh, so we're going to start in the top corner. And the first part of this character, you're just going to draw a line straight down. Nice big bold line. Then from the base, you're going to kind of bring a little diagonal foot off at the bottom. And it's going to come down just a little past it. Across the top, you're going to cross your T, bring it straight across. And then there's going to be a small angled slightly down uh, swoosh, if you will, in the middle. So this is the first half of your character. Then, directly next to it, you're going to, I guess, almost in level with your top swoosh, bring a line straight across. From here, you're going to have two lines crossing it, but they're going to be angled in towards each other. Ever so slightly. And to finish off your symbol, we're going to create a sort of rectangle box. And inside of the box is going to be more boxes. There you go. And that is cat. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for our other Calligraphy with Kayla videos where we're, I'm going to show you um, how to paint a calligraphy style dragon and cherry blossom tree. I hope this inspired you maybe to take some time to do some minimal art. Uh, it doesn't always have to be super complicated, super detailed. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes just kind of doodling really quickly is good for the soul. Good to combat that cabin fever. Thanks for supporting Spectra Art Space, and thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Love you guys.